Thanks for checking out this book review video. Um, okay, so as I've said before, uh, I haven't been huge on reading a lot of part of my life, but when I did get into reading, I got into horror. And I haven't read a ton of books in the past bunch of years because I'm a slow reader. I do other things. I watch a lot of movies. So, uh, But there's one author who I've actually read a good amount of their books because I like their, their writing style. I love their story ideas and how dark they get too, like graphic and dark. And that is Mr. Clive Barker. Uh, so that's why I'm reviewing The Hellbound Heart. And it, it's been a few years since I've read this book, but I remember it pretty well because this is one of my favorite books, hands down. Uh, the other cool thing is I may be getting the chance to meet Clive Barker uh, at a Monster Mania convention in August. So when that happens, I'm hoping I can take this copy of The Hellbound Heart and get him to sign it because uh, it's one of my favorite horror books. It's one of my favorite books, period. So one of the things to know off the bat with this is it's super easy. It's fast, it's easy, and yeah, I mean, as you can see, like, the pages aren't that big and the text is large. So it goes really fast. The other thing is it's only 164 pages for the story, so that's so fast. Like, most books are well over 200 pages, so this being so short, you can fly through this, and it also kind of depends on your reading speed, but I got through this one relatively quick. The other thing is, it's a super engaging story. So, this is the book that, um, well, actually, let me give you a closer up look at it. This is the book that Hellraiser is based on. I love that movie, Hellraiser. I'm very happy that Clive Barker did the movie because he had written this book. So there are some differences. If you've seen Hellraiser and then you want to read this book, there are some differences. I do think that, much like is, is almost always the case, the book is better. The book is better because it leaves more to your imagination. You can kind of conjure up in your mind's eye what the scariest or most intense or best uh, environment slash situation is. Uh, the other thing to know is that the character of Pinhead is not called Pinhead in here. He's just Hell Priest, just so you know. Pinhead was a, a moniker that came up during the actual filming of it. Uh, actually, in the book, he has nails in his head, not actually pins. Uh, but during the filming, they actually had to downgrade it to pins because the nails were too much. I think they ended up being too heavy, too challenging to use, so they downgraded to pins. So originally in the book, he has nails in his head. Uh, way thicker, way more painful. So, But... This is a masterpiece of horror writing, in my opinion. A freaking masterpiece. It is my highest recommendation that everyone read this book. If you think you're a horror reader, do it. This book is so good. Uh, the characters, I mean, it, it, doesn't leave, it doesn't leave a lot of space for the characters to be, like, super fleshed out. But for how little space there is, the characters are pretty fleshed out for that. Uh, it's super. It's a super compact story. It moves. It's got everything you need. And when you're done, you don't feel like, oh, that's it. it it's satisfying. It's really good. It's really good. And like I said, it, it's it's even better than than Hellraiser. And it's not a problem that you would have seen Hellraiser and then you go to reading this. This book is a whole different experience uh, in contrast to the movie Hellraiser, and um, it's outstanding. So. Um, since it's such a short book, I don't really have that much to say about it. It's just very well written. The amount of detail that's needed is in there. And like I said, it moves. It's engaging. It's it's a, an outstanding book. So, Clive Barker, man. I've read a decent amount of his books. Um, I'm going to review another one for the next one of these episodes I put out. Another Clive Barker book. And it kind of goes with this one. He's written a lot of books. If people know Clive Barker, you know what I'm talking about. He's written a lot of stuff. Uh, he's, I would, honestly, I would say he's the second most prolific horror writer after Stephen King. I, I mean, that's what I say to people when I talk about Clive Barker. And when people don't know who he is, that, like, flips me out. I'm like, how do you not know who Clive Barker is? Do you know who Stephen King is? I'll be like, oh, yeah. Well, Clive Barker's, like, the second most prolific horror writer, so you should probably know who he is. Because he's done a lot, and then I'll kind of tell him, like, what movies his works are based on. Uh, or are based on his works, and people are like, oh, no way. I just kind of do a quick list of, like, Hellraiser, Nightbreed, uh, Candyman, Midnight Meat Train, you know, stuff like that. So, 
yeah, awesome. But anyway, uh, yeah, highly recommend. If, if you can't tell, uh, I'm not going to do like star ratings on this. I'm just going to be like, do I recommend it? Do I not recommend it? But the, the whole story of this, uh, if you don't know the story, you, it's kind of better not to know what the storyline is going into it. Just read it. And trust me, and like I said, it's super fast. So anyway, thank you everyone for checking this video out. Hit that subscribe, it can help me a lot. Hit the notification bell if you wanna know whenever I'm dropping videos, which also helps me if you watch them kind of soon after I drop them. Uh, comments, let's talk about it. What horror books are you reading? What do you recommend? Are you into Clive Barker? What have you read of Clive Barker's? Your feelings on it. How do you like the Hellbound Heart? All those questions. Anyway, let's talk. Thumbs ups are cool. Until next time. Keep it brutal.